Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, January 4th, 2021. Can you believe it? I didn't even know I had my finger in front of uh, the calendar, but please forgive me for that. So in my daily success planner um, by Kanika Harden, it says take five deep breaths and sit still. What is God saying to you? I know today um, my number one thing is you must focus to complete your goals. And um, I have empowered you to bring wealth. To yourself and family. Uh, trust in me. The Lord your God. Don't be afraid of the naysayers. Ew. And uh, be encouraged. And I will continue to strengthen your heart. Okay, so after I finished writing in my daily success planner, everybody, um, which is here, I am going ahead and getting my makeup done. Okay, so I got on my um, lace top today and then like some camel colored um, velvet. <laughs> Is it velvet? <laughs> Pants. And um, so I'm excited about today. I'm nervous. And I know I'm, I'm not even having to take like a test. I mean, this is the, the licensing part, but anything that is new in your life, you know, sometimes you may experience some type of anxiety, nervous, nervousness or variation, but I promise you in 2021, everybody, just go ahead and do it. Like, it may be nerve wracking, you may get frustrated, you don't know all the answers. None of us know all the answers because if we did, I know we'd be God, right? So I admonish you all to move forward each and every day and not be worried about what you see or even what you think. Because a lot of times, let me tell you this, a lot of times the things that we worry about, they don't even come to pass. Like those things that, like, but what if, but what if, but what if? What if sometimes never happens? I, I mean, I'm, I can attest to that. I used to worry so much about certain scenarios and then God would show himself strong in my life. Like, but I told you I would take care of you. I'm God, so yeah. But it's early in the morning. I got up like 6.45 to just kind of get the day started. And um, I made like some uh, grits. Put some butter in there. And then um, have like those turkey sausage links for the kids when they get up. And yeah. So I'm going to let my oldest daughter know where I'm going, which everybody pretty much already knows where I'm going. I've been saying it for like the last few days. Most of the time when I get ready to go somewhere, I let my kids know in advance, like they already know. But um, I 
I forgot some of the things that I wrote in my success plan. I'm going to pull it back out and just kind of um, go back over that with you all. You got to make a plan for your day. Each and every day, don't worry about the if, ands, or buts. Don't make excuses. I'm getting to the point now in my life where I really, really, really want to um, just kind of push forward and stop with the excuses. We can have as many excuses as we like on a daily basis. But what is that going to profit you? Nothing. I mean, you'll never, ever, ever reach your goals if you stay stuck in your excuses. Oh, I don't have this and I don't have that. Well, you know what? I always go back to Noah. Noah didn't have anything. He had some instructions. He had to build something that he never, he had never seen before. And then preach a sermon to people who didn't want to listen on a daily basis. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. And they had never seen rain before. My whole point for saying that is just, Sometimes all you have is some instructions and then other times you may not have, but just like, hey, go this way. And you'll find out when you get to the place that God told you to go. Now today, everybody, I just want to show you my outfit before I left. So I just paired it up with this um, necklace and I have like on my cape. And then, see, I have on Jordans, but they don't look like Jordans. They are girly Jordans. So, anyways, I want it to be comfortable because I don't know how far or how much I have to walk. So, with that being said, everybody, yep, that is my, hold on, finished look. Hold on. With the hair being so long. It keeps getting caught up, but yep. So I finished my, and I forgot I got on these pearl earrings. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave my success planner at home because I've already written what I need to write in there. And here we go. This handy dandy <laughs> petroleum jelly because it's gonna be in a mask. But uh, yeah, next place I'll be is at the office. Ooh, child. So I just left off, well, left out of the licensing office. The first person that I met uh, there, the lady was extremely, extremely, extremely nasty. When I say, as in, I say, hey, good morning. She's like, uh, do you have all of your dice licensing documentation? Yeah, uh, I, I guess. I mean, so you're given this sheet of paper. It's like a green sheet of paper. And it goes through, like, some of everything. But this is stuff that I thought that I can actually find at the office since they are the licensing office. Um, and just a lack of customer service. Just not, I mean, to say the least. Like, the lady was very, very rude. But the second lady that I met who walked in and who was, like, looking at her like, if she was her co-worker, she was a lot nicer. But the way that the lady explained it, she was like, well, it, it, it's on the sheet. I mean, it, it, everything, you know, uh, well, which uh, location did you go to? Well, they're stupid over there. They're dumb over there. I'm like, maybe it was because it was um, December 31st when I took the test. Everybody was ready to get out of office. Well, they should have explained it to you. And then the lady, the nice lady who walked in, she was like, well, no, they're only required to just give you the green sheet, but let me just clarify it for you. And she called the lady's name and she's like, uh, do you have the directions for the young lady to go and get her um, background report? She's just looking at her like, I mean, come on, like we already know that she didn't know. So let's stop being a butt wipe, but oh God. So right now I'm headed to... Well, I'm going to go ahead and call the sheriff's office so they can go ahead and do my background background report. And then I'll update you all from there. But by far today, the lady's attitude, the first lady that I met, the nastiest person I have met so far in 2021. I know that, you know, this industry 
is going to be filled with different types of people. But my God, like she started off the morning so wrong. Okay, so everybody, I am actually in FedEx Kinko's. I got to print out my um, paperwork from the Go Amp website. And we go from there. My gosh. But I'm excited, though. It's teaching me a lot. And it's not busy in FedEx right now, which is a very good thing. So hopefully I can get everything done. Now, The I just called the uh, sheriff's office, and they don't start to do, like, background checks until 12 noon, which, okay. Uh-oh. Maybe I'll leave it right there. Yeah, but they don't start to do background checks until... Um, 12 noon. Sorry, you all. Maybe I need to... So you have to go... Let's just say... I know there are four locations that you can go and do your licensing here in Georgia. One is in Macon. One is in Duluth. The other one is in Savannah, and doo -doo 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 -doo. let me see here. I'll be able to tell you in just a second. So Duluth, Marietta, Macon, and Savannah. And then so what you have to have, let me just kind of explain this to you all, just in case if you run across this issue. Hopefully you don't have to use a location in Macon um where I just went because my god when I said that lady she was so nasty it, nobody deserves to uh just be talked to in a really nasty way especially if it's something that's new to you everybody doesn't know like how to get everything done um I know they give you like this paper but sometimes in some arenas they explain the paper to you so um now I know for um, the crime report, I've got to go to the sheriff's department. Like I told you, that's 12 noon. And then the school report, I already had the school report with me in my notebook. And then um, sponsor and broker form. So I get ready to go meet my broker um, here shortly. She's got like a couple things that she's got to do. She's really busy this morning. And then lawful presence affidavit. I'm going to have that signed and notarized. So, um, this is something very new. You just got to make sure that you have somebody that can help you through the process just in case if you get confused because you you don't want to run across a person who's nasty and you've got a whole bunch of questions and then they don't really want to help you. Like, nobody wants to go through that. But anyways, um, so they tell you, like, for example... The GCIC crime report is not valid after 60 days and must show name of police or sheriff. Um, if the crime report does not say no record or no NCIC want, a license cannot be issued until the Real Estate Commission completes an investigation and issues an approval letter. So make sure that like when you're um, going to the um, sheriff's office or whatever your governing board like police office or sheriff's office, wherever you're going to get your crime report done, make sure that it has the police officer or sheriff's um, sheriff's name on there because that will be another um, thing that you have to, like, stop and do because it'll put a, a halt in your process. So right now I'm going to show you I'm going to the PSI website so I can log in and go to the handbook. And then maybe this is something I should have already had done, but... Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, I know it's going to be better. Um, and so what they tell you is Monday through Friday is open. So from 9A to 12P. So I won't be able to go back to the licensing office until 2 p.m. Um, because I have to get my crime report at 12 noon. So I'll go back over there at 2 o'clock. So with that being said, they give you this form right here. Just read it through and through. If you need any help, make sure that you call the person, um, call your broker, and just kind of get them to help you through the process just in case. But then uh, 
payment method is $170. That's like if you're doing it within three months because it gives you three months to get it done if, um, well, right after you take your test. So after you pass your exam, you got three months, up to three months before the price changes. So I got to pay $170 today and then I got to pay $20 for the crime report to make sure I have everything together. Okay, so everybody, after you have gone to fill out the type of um, um, examination that you're supposed to be, well, the examination program. So I've already um, done this first portion where they have the exclamation mark. I wanted to fill it out myself online. So when I first called, I got, I talked to a representative, but I didn't want to pay online. Um, I finished that through the website. And then the good thing about it is when you go to this website, they say additional information. Um, you go ahead and you print out the sponsor and broker form and the lawful presence um, affidavit. Now I'm going to ask my broker um, how do we fill out this form because I know this has to be uh, signed and notarized. That is the uh, lawful presence affidavit. And then this right here is the sponsor and broker statement. I went ahead and did my due diligence to print out multiple copies of each form because just the way that today is starting out, I don't want to mess up anything. So <laughs> uh, with that being said, they say you must take this form with you to the AMP test center to obtain your license. So I understand that part, but I'm wondering, um, do I get this notarized? somewhere else like um i don't think they have a notary public at that office i just don't i don't know so with that being said i'll just get it notarized outside after i find out from the broker but yeah so i stopped and got myself some panera bread <laughs> that made me so much happier i haven't eaten yet but um i just deduced my feelings down to hey you're entering into into a new industry don't allow this one person this one person at this one office that you may not ever have to deal with ever again to stop your progress it doesn't stop anything that god has ever blessed you with she wasn't there those long nights that you had to study and i'm starting to melt everybody so that's what's going on with my makeup wow yeah anyways i'll fix that before my next um uh, stop if i can but um yeah i i just deduced my feelings down to i'll get over it like you know you had to have had somebody to try you today like don't allow people to get up under your skin she can't stop your progress and where god is going to take you so i'm getting ready to enjoy my food i got a flatbread pizza from um from panera bread and then a side salad the asian sesame chicken salad so i'm gonna enjoy that and drink my water oh this is uh the water that i got i stopped at like the um convenience store and got that but yeah, excitement. I'm looking forward to seeing my soon to be broker. Um, God, I mean, this has been a long time coming. I, Like I said in my previous post um, or vlog, I literally started this journey back in 2018 and stopped in 2019. Like I didn't, I didn't finish. So to now be on the right track, it means everything to me so yeah dear Panera Bread <laughs> this is so beautiful Wow so I'm in the parking garage oh my gosh and I am getting ready to head to my broker's office they have sent us on a wild goose chase. Everybody, you will not believe. Okay, so I got my um, my background check done, right? 
And then the lady who worked at the sheriff's office was like, oh yeah, you need to go to the courthouse to go get your um, affidavit signed. Yeah, okay. All right, so I go to the courthouse and they're looking at me like, hmm, yeah, so this is not the place. <laughs> well, I'm glad that it was another lady that I just saw at the um, background check place, the sheriff's office. And she's like, girl, I was thinking the same thing because these people are looking at us like we have no, no idea. She said, I'm glad that you walked in. So let's go to my broker's office and see, can we get this form signed today? Everybody who made it back home, this has been an eventful day. I've been gone for hours, but I made it back up to the kids with some pizza. Hi. But everybody, look at the little portfolio my broker just gave me. And yes, I got my license today. Woo! So I'm so excited, everybody. I went to go leave her my um, certificate. I don't want to show you all. I got my license number and everything. Like this is insane, everybody insane insane in the membrane insane in the brain hey insane in the membrane insane in the brain okay enough but um yeah so just so y'all know it's real <laughs> okay state of georgia baby real estate commissioner lynn dempsey I am, well, the end of my renewal is May 31st, 2025. This license expires if you fail to pay renewal fees or if you fail to complete any required education in a timely manner. I remember, you know what? I'm not even gonna say that. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna be negative. So I did go back into the office where the lady was very rude this morning. <laughs> But they kind of told me the reason why um, they were so frustrated. It was like a backstory. Not even going to get into it, but it was a backstory. It dealt with uh, one of their, how, how they, how the other place was sending people in there uninformed, right? And I've missed my little paddle brush because, girl, this let's thing. Go! Let's go. Look, I got your pizza. And my big man. You got your pizza on the table. Yeah, I gotta go feed my kids. So I love you all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. We did it, everybody! We did it! Oh, all right, all right. We did it. So I got my real estate license. Yep. So you're probably gonna see this on Tuesday because I gotta edit the video for today where I'm brushing and blow drying my hair. By the time you see this video, it's gonna be yesterday that I was, uh, did all the licensing stuff. You're gonna get this video on Tuesday for what I did on Monday, right? It's always a day behind. Unless I do, um, like unless I just get like bad to the bone and start like editing and uploading same day, then y'all kind of get. Guys, guess what? What what you about to, how many days? Ooh, four more days. Put you some Vaseline up on your crusty chicken little lips. I'm Charlie. I love you everybody. Please like, subscribe, turn on notifications. My name is Latoya and we just started our new industry today. Put your mind to it. God will be able to help you through everything. She really wants to get to 400 subscribers, so help my mommy to get food. No, 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 not the 400. I want 50,000 subscribers. That's my goal. 50,000 subscribers. So and help me out. to 1K? Please help me to smash that like button, everybody. We're gonna see you later.